What's up, Pee? It's your man, Urban Lover, coming from your mama basement, baby. And you know what the deal is. I'm coming to talk to you guys about my man, JC. Now, I told y'all yesterday I'm going to drop a video on my man, JC, and how I feel about him and going forward. Now, I'm a big JC fan, always will be. I supported JC when a lot of fans decided to, you know, not cut him some slack. I also like my man, Larry Nance. Now, these two are my probably my best two Laker players on the team. Only reason why, because I like the way they play around the rim. Now, as of late, JC has not been playing around the rim like I thought he would play. And a lot of pride to do with Luke Walton's system. Not too sure. I don't really know Luke Walton's system. I just know of it. It's not like I'm actually on the floor to actually read the script, you know, or the chalkboard to see what the draw of the plays are. So I'm only going by according to what I research and what I know. So, as always... I'm going to ask you guys a question, my Laker family. Now, I was just looking at Laker Nation, and, it, you know, J.C. was on there doing an interview. He said, you know, he really don't care if he come off the bench, you know, as long as the team get the W. And this is the reason why I love J.C. The dude is so humble, and so is Larry Nance. These two dudes are humble. They don't really stay too too much into the spotlight. You know, they ask a couple questions, and they get on about their business, you know. It's, it's all about work, and that's what I like about them. You know, both these guys. And I'm not saying the other guys on the team don't work. It's just that I respect these two guys. That's all. I mean, I, I love the Lakers, period. You know, and you should already know that when I was actually supporting Nick Young, when everybody threw him under the bus, you know, I, I kept on supporting Nick Young. So, as always, I want to ask you guys this. Based on what uh, Jordan Clarkson said, how do you guys feel? Do you prefer him to come off the bench or do you prefer him to start? Now, me, my opinion, take it with a grain of salt, this is how I feel. I prefer him to come off the bench. Why? Because of the emergence of Nick Young, I think Nick Young should start at the two. Nick Young is much taller. He's playing a little bit better defense. And I know it's only the preseason. And we'll know from game to game in time. We'll tell. But you always have a rotation where if Nick Young not playing good, you can bring JC in at the two. But here's my thing. If we didn't have Carteron... Lou Williams, not too much hurts us because he's not going to get that much playing time. But these two guys will get the chunk of the playing time at that point guard position coming off the bench. While Lou Williams probably start. And, and that's Lou Williams is like the odd man out. And I definitely want to make a video about him after this video about Lou Williams. And I got another one coming out about Nick Young. So I'm going to get on uh, Lou Williams later. But I definitely want to talk right now and focus on Jordan Clarkson. Now, the reason why I say that Jordan Clarkson should come off the bench is, number one, I love for Jordan Clarkson to get back to the Jordan Clarkson that we knew when he first came to LA. And this is the Jordan Clarkson that was actually penetrating. You know, he was taking jump shots, but his jump shot wasn't as consistent as they are now. I don't just don't want to see Jordan Clarkson sit behind a perimeter all day and throw up seven and nine three-pointers. You know, it, it hurts his field goal percentage. It, it just hurts him as a player. I think that he should go back to driving the basket. Take whatever the defense gives you. You know, if you could break a guy down, get to the basket, draw fouls. Because what we fail to realize is the Lakers right now, based on the preseason, besides this last game that we played where we had like 30-something free throws, which was good. But the Lakers wasn't as physical in these couple preseason games besides the last one. The first seven games, they weren't physical. They weren't getting to the basket. It's like they were shying away from contact. Now, Larry Nance, Julius Randle, and Jordan Clarkson, all three of these guys, besides Tariq Black and Robinson, but I'm naming these, the ones that I'm naming are basically the, the spotlight of the team, besides my man D-Lo. D now, these three guys usually get to the basket, draw fouls. They did it in the regular season. Now, I'm hoping that, you know, when the season starts, that they will actually look more into getting to the basket and drawing fouls, being more aggressive, not sitting behind that perimeter trying to shoot threes. This is the reason why I love for Jordan Clarkson to come off that bench. If we didn't have, you know, Calderon and Lou Williams, we could actually start Jordan Clarkson at the point. And Brandon Ingram could be at the two. Larry Nance could be at the three. You could play around with Tariq Black and Robinson at the center power forward position, however you choose to do it. But because we have Calderon, you know, in this reality, not my fantasy, but in this reality, Calderon will be at the point. JC will be at the two. Brandon Ingram will be at the three. Larry Nance will be at the power forward spot. And then you have an option between Tariq Black and Robinson. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be Tariq Black because Luke William already promised him some playing time. Now, if Robinson outplayed Tariq Black, that's a different story. And that's another video that I'm going to make also within itself. Now, with that being said, 
with that second unit coming off the bench and going into what JC said, if the if the if the starting unit is playing good, it, the second unit comes in, you know, give them a little breathing and all that, and they come right in and do the exact same thing. You're not letting your opponent let up. You're not giving him any let up. Based on the fact that, okay, you know, most teams be like, all right, well, the starting five gone, we can rest a little bit because they bring their bench in. A lot of teams don't have a strong bench, so we have a chance to come back. Here with the Lakers, we have a starting five and a bench. So now when the starters go to the bench, the, the second unit comes in and do the exact same thing that the starting five did. No let up. So the opponents be like, God dang, we ain't got no let up. You know, we thought we were going to get a break, but you got these guys coming in. They're more fast paced. They're, they're they flushing. They run into the basket. They, they you know, they, they got an up tempo style of play. I'm going according to the preseason when I say in the preseason game. When they came on the floor, they were actually, they were actually fast. They were just fast. They had an up tempo style of play. They were just moving. They were just gone. And I love it. And they were getting to the basket more. Even what hurts is, you know, doing a lot of, uh, you know, finesse in his passing and all that you know Calderon you know getting them the ball even hitting shots so I like to see JC come off the bench because when he come off the bench it'll be him and Brandon Ingram that will be the the focus point coming off that bench with Larry Nance but Larry Nance is more of a utility man he's going to play off of Brandon Ingram and Jordan Clarkson so it gives them power on the front and on the back there's no let up so the opponents coming in like damn we can't let up now, I'm not saying that he cannot play good with D'Angelo Russell, D'Angelo Russell starting. I'm not saying that. But the problem is we got Lou Williams. We got to do something with Lou Williams. Right now, he's 6'1". They're going to probably have him and D'Angelo starting. D'Angelo probably going to play on defense. D'Angelo going to play the, the uh, shooting guard, and Lou Williams going to play the point. Lou Williams is, right now, he he's a good offensive player. He just doesn't have no defense, and it hurts because the perimeter is the biggest problem right now in our interior defense when it comes to defense. So... We got to fix that. That's why I would love to see Nick Young actually start at the two with D'Angelo. Lou Williams, I'd like to see him get traded. Yeah, just, it's too many point guards. I mean, I hate to say it, but I'm being honest with you. We got Calderon, Hertzis, Lou Williams. Lou Williams is actually a point guard. He's a point guard, but in a uh, shooting guard. Well, yeah, he's a shooting guard in a point guard's body. It just don't work. If he played defense, then you wouldn't really notice his 6'1", you know, frame. But because he don't play defense, it hurts the team. But I definitely like to see JC come off the bench, either as a point or at the two. But because when he caught the bench in the preseason, he was on fire. He was doing a lot more. But when he was starting, he was struggling. And I'm not saying that it's because of D'Angelo Russell. Maybe it's because of the Luke Walton system. He's trying to find it. But I think when he come off the bench, he's more of the focal point along with Brandon Ingram. Whereas the starters is Julius Randle and D'Angelo Russell. So it makes more of a combo set. And it's good for our team to have a, a starting squad. And the second unit, no let up. So with that being said, it's your man Urban Lover. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Get in the comment section. Tell me what you what you like. Do you prefer him to start or would you prefer him to come off the bench? And until next time, as always, definitely be safe out there. I love you guys and take care.